I'm here to show you the new TF Rack, Yamaha's latest uh, addition to the TF family. If you look over here, we've uh, shrunken a TF into a three-space rack package with a full-on touch screen in the front panel with complete control of the mixer right from its front panel. Around back, we'll see later, there's 16 ins and 16 outputs on this fully featured mixer. So you'd be in great shape if you wanted to have something that was in a smaller um, form factor. You'll notice here that this, the new screen that we have is all the faders, because obviously we don't have faders on a rack mount mixer. But you'll notice the normal channel strip views that we um, came up with for the TF series. You have all of the features that the TF has. The uh, ability to look at uh, gain from the gain finder function so that you can quickly get around on the, and set your gains on your input channel. All of your EQs look a lot like they did on the mixers. When you get full touch control of, and, and multi-touch control of all of the filters so that you can quickly get around on it and set the EQ the way you need to. For training purposes, you can put a piano keyboard in the bottom of the EQ screen. And if, if you don't want to see that, you can turn that off. And a second click will give you an RTA as well, so that you can monitor the energy in that channel. On the rest of the front panel, you'll notice that we've kept the user-defined keys so that the, there's the, any six things that you'd like to do, uh, be it uh, change scenes or even turn channels off and on, anything can be assigned to those, uh, those buttons. And then we also have the four user-defined knobs so that you can put your favorite fader down on a knob and keep it in that rack put away for when you need to, to do your adjustments. Um, all of this can be controlled via an iPad. We have Stage Mix that allows complete control of that. And with the release of the TF Rack, we also have a wired version of the iPad control. So if you were to do uh, a permanent uh, installation of this, you could leave the iPad wired to it and not have to worry about Wi-Fi connectivity issues. So we're around back now on the uh, TF Rack. And you'll notice there's your 16 I.O. Here's your 16 inputs that you'll notice are TRS or XLR, and then you have 16 outputs as well that are on XLR and um, TRS balanced outputs so that um, you, you, we can get it all in one, the one rack. You'll notice down here at the bottom that we've installed the uh, optional Dante interface card. This allows us to get to the other 16 inputs and all the outputs that you can get on the back side of the console that you wouldn't normally have if you just bought the unit without the card. It's going to ship in November and uh, prices to be determined.